are so many different kinds of butterflies. Scientists aren't sure, but they estimate that there could be up to 20,000 different species of butterflies. Even though it looks like butterflies have two wings, they actually have four. Two hind wings and two forewings. Humans taste food with their tongues, but butterflies taste food with their feet. Some butterflies migrate like birds. Monarch butterflies fly from the Great Lakes all the way to Mexico. Butterflies can't fly when it's too cold outside. Since they cannot regulate their body temperature, the air needs to be above 60 degrees for them to fly. To avoid being eaten by predators, butterflies will use camouflage to look like bark, leaves, or bigger animals. Pretty cool, huh? Where do fish get their money? From the riverbank. <laughs> Why wouldn't the fish watch TV? I don't know. He was afraid he'd get hooked. <laughs> <laughs> what seafood goes well with peanut butter? Jellyfish. Peanut butter, jelly. Peanut butter, jelly. Why did the ocean roar? I don't know. Why? You would roar too if you had crabs on your bottom. Oh, I get it. <laughs> the like bottom, bottom of the, of the sea. sea. <laughs> and your bottom and crabs are walking on the bottom. That'd be and uncomfortable. Brain plane. If animals could skateboard, which would be the best at it? I think an owl, because if he can turn his head through a 360, then he can do a 360. A kangaroo and a duck? Pigs, because um, it would be funny because they'd probably fall off a lot. A duck has webbed feet and it could stay on for a long time. I think a flamingo because they stand on like their legs all day, so they must have pretty good balance. And the kangaroo could stay on because it has big feet and it wouldn't, like, tiny feet is harder to skateboard with, but they can push themselves like really far. Hmm, probably a newborn pig because <laughs> they're the littlest and they can just roll really fast. summer salsa. We're gonna need green onions, celery, olives, tomatoes, white corn, honey, and Italian salad dressing. First we're going to take our bowl and um, add our white corn. So we're gonna chop up, chop up tomatoes, green onion, and celery. Let's cut them into small bites. How does my look? Looks good, but I think you should Maybe cut them into smaller. smaller pieces. Yeah, this one is big. No, this is fun. Okay, so now we're gonna put our chopped vegetables into the bowl. It smells so good. I agree. <laughs> then we'll do some. A little bit more celery. And the rest. Here, not yeah. too much though. That's good. That's good. Okay, now we're going to add a tablespoon of honey. Is that enough? Um, yeah. Honey. 
I love honey. Drizzle this on top. It's gonna come out fast. Don't put too much. Okay, that's good, that's good. Mm, this, this looks so good. I know, I wanna already. eat it already. Okay. Let's have some Get tortilla some. chips. Okay. Oh, let's put that, that right, right there. there. Okay, tell us how it is. Okay, I'm only having a little bite. Hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Can you figure out who I am? Some people think of me as a detective. My tools include hammers and brushes. You can usually find me outside. I dig in the ground to find clues. I work with animals that no longer exist. Who am I? A paleontologist. Brain play. Name some things that you open. I usually open a soup can or a bottle to drink something. You can open a car door. You can open the trunk of a car. You can open your mouth, you can open your eyes, you can open your hands. Birthday present, box. You open your eyes, your mouth, a box, cans, doors. You can open pretty much anything. <laughs> what do you call it when your dog sheds all over your couch? A hurricane. What are the solar system's three favorite days of the week? Saturn Day, Sunday, and Moon Day. Why can Bigfoot read all the symbols on a map? Because he's a legend. Get it? A map legend? <laughs> Why do opera singers make good sailors? Because they know how to handle high seas. What do you call a sleeping dinosaur? A dinosnorus. The Amazon rainforest is so large. It covers areas in Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Guiana, Suriname, and French Guiana. That's a lot of countries. There's around 1,300 bird species, 3,000 types of fish, and 430 mammals in the rainforest. That's a lot of animals. It's estimated that there are 16,000 tree species and 390 billion individual trees in the Amazon rainforest. The Amazon rainforest produces about 20% of the world's oxygen and is referred to as the lungs of the planet. The rainforest covers over 2 million square miles. That's almost the same size as the United States. Pretty cool, huh? Brain play. What are some different ways people laugh? <laughs> chemistry joke, but I don't think it would get a reaction. 
What has a head and a tail, but has no body? A quarter. <laughs> How do you make one disappear? Just add a G and it's gone. G. Can you figure out who I am? I am often the first person who shows up when there's an emergency. I make sure my vehicle is properly fueled, cleaned, and stocked with medical supplies. I know CPR and have medical training that can be helpful. I transport patients to the hospital in a hurry. I am a good and safe driver, but sometimes I have to drive fast. Who am I? driver. of the alphabet do you write most often? I think I write the letter A most often. C and W. Because I say can a lot and what a lot. M for my name, Monty. A and B, but mostly A because I have three A's in my name and I write my name a lot. A a lot because I write my name a lot which has an A. B because that's the first letter of my name. Hummingbirds are among the smallest of birds, measuring between two and five inches. Hummingbirds are the only species that can fly in all directions, including backwards and upside down. Some hummingbirds can flap their wings up to 80 times per second, they flap their wings so fast, it makes a humming sound, which is where they get their name. Hummingbirds are very smart. They can remember flowers they've been to and seem to know when the flower will refill its nectar. A hummingbird can weigh anywhere between two and 20 grams. That's less than a penny. But its brain is the biggest for its size of any known bird. Pretty cool, huh? Today on Ever Wonder, we're going to find out how maple syrup is made. Kristen and Andy run Journey's End Maple Farm, and they'll show us how it's done. Maple syrup comes from maple trees. The first step is to drill a hole in the tree and put a spile in so the sap can drip into buckets. Tubing can also be used to collect the sap. The farmers go around gathering the sap from the trees. Then they pump the sap into the sap house. It goes through a filter and then into a big storage tank outside. For sap to turn into syrup, it must be boiled for a long time. These machines are called evaporators. They have many channels to help take the water out of the sap. Andy waits for the bubbles to look just right. He then tests the syrup to see if it drips off the pan and sheets. This process is called sheeting, or a maple syrup drip test. After going through the evaporator, the sap is transferred and boiled again in the finishing pan. 
Here, Kristen stirs and uses a hydrometer to check the thickness of the syrup. Then, after the bottles have been sanitized, they are filled with maple syrup and eventually brought to pancakes everywhere. What type of bones do dogs not like? Trombones! <laughs> How do you know when your dog has stepped into blue paint? I don't know. There are blueprints all over your house. Uh, really? I, I gotta go. Bye! When is a dog's tail not a dog's tail? When it is a wagon. Hey Sam, why can't Dalmatians play hide and seek? I don't know why. Because they're always spotted. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. So true. Where is the dog's favorite place to shop? The flea market. Can you figure out who I am? I went to school to learn how to make people look old, scary, and beautiful. Some of the tools I use are an airbrush, silicone, and latex. At times, I work with fake hair and monster teeth. You can find me on a movie set or in my design studio. It's my job to create the look of unforgettable characters. Who am I? Special effects makeup artist. If you could have a pet dinosaur, how would you train it? I would train it to kind of like you would train a dolphin. I just train it to be nice. This means spin, this means jump. I would train it with a treat because it would know that like every time it did something good that it would re be rewarded. I would train it to fly because then you would get to places faster than with a car. Naked. We used a lemon battery to power an alarm clock. Cool. That's cool, we should try it. What do we need? We need two lemons, some wire, the butter knives, pennies, and paper clips. Take your lemon and roll it and squeeze it so that all the juice will be all juicy inside so that the electricity will work. So now you take your butter knife and you put two holes. Now that we cut our slits, we need to wrap a penny in some wire. We put one paper clip on the other side. Okay, now we need to put the penny in this one, and then you put it on the opposite side. And then I put it in like this, right? Right. Yeah. 
this is the negative part and this is the positive. So when we put the negative on the spring in the clock where the battery is supposed to go, it's gonna turn that on. will turn on. So hold it up above these. I'll tell you if it works. What do you think will happen? I think it's gonna turn on and tell me what the time is. Oh, it's wow, on! It's on! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! It's a chemical reaction. The paper clip loses electrons, but the penny gains electrons. How do you do that? It's just all about the lemons. Human bones continuously grow in length from birth up until your mid-twenties. The longest bone in the human body is in your thigh. It's called the femur. In your hand, there are 27 different bones. So in both hands, that's 54 bones. The smallest bone in the human body is called the stirrup, and it's only one-tenth of an inch long. When you're born, your body has 300 bones. But when you become an adult, you only have 206. Pretty cool, huh? Hey Alyssa, what do you call a musical insect? A humbug! <laughs> <laughs> hey Skylar, what? What insect says one thing but does another. I don't know. What? A hippo cricket. <laughs> hey, Nate. Yeah? What do you call a nervous fly? I don't know, what? A jitterbug. Hey, Alyssa. What? What do you call a bee that's hard to understand? What? A mumblebee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's more amazing than a talking dog? I don't know. A spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> Why do bees hum? Why? Because they don't know the words. <laughs> Can you figure out who I am? You might not see me often, but you hear me all the time. I'm here to entertain you but also update you on valuable information. It's my job to know everything about music. Sometimes people call me while I'm at work and win prizes. I'm really good at picking songs and playing them for everyone to hear. Who am I? A radio DJ. Brain play. Using just words, describe how to skip. I put my leg up and I jump. I put my other leg up and I jump. You so you um kind of lift up your leg and then bounce on it twice and then the other leg and bounce on it twice. You put one foot up and you jump and then you put one foot in front of that foot that just was put out and then you do it again. You can do it really fast or really slow or you can do it really high or really low. You take one foot and you jump on it twice and then really extremely quickly you use the other foot and do the exact same thing. You're kind of jumping and running at the same time but you're not like doing only one of them. It's kind of like a combination together. Start walking, then lift up your knees, then you technically skip. <laughs> Saturn has at least 62 moons, and Jupiter has at least 67. Jupiter is known for its great red spot, which is actually a giant storm that has been raging since the planet was first seen by a telescope in the 1600s. Saturn and Jupiter are the two biggest planets in our solar system. It takes Saturn 29.4 Earth years to orbit the Sun, and it takes Jupiter 11.9 Earth years. 
Some scientists think it may rain diamonds on both Saturn and Jupiter. Pretty cool, huh? Can you figure out who I am? I can usually be found drawing and designing big things. I use a lot of tools, including tracing paper, measuring devices like a bow compass, and pens to draw. It's important for me to know about building codes and zoning laws for safety. I give people structure to build things. I get to be creative and make beautiful structures. You might be inside something I designed right now. Who am I? An architect. Where's the best place to eat while traveling? I don't know, where? <laughs> where there's a fork in the road. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dog washes clothes? Alondro Mutt. Roo, roo, roo. Hey Mia. What? Why did the triangle jog around the block? Oh, I know this one. To get into shape. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one? Why is it hard being on a basketball team with pigs? I don't know. Because they always hog the ball. <laughs> <Get>. <laughs> what bird never has to get a haircut? A bald eagle. <laughs> Brain play. What is your favorite saying? My favorite saying is, oh my goodness. My favorite saying is that you'll miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Hit the ground running. Now or never. Make it! Today we're gonna make onigiri. The ingredients you will need are salted water, short grain rice cooked, and drained tuna. You also need a spoon and different kinds of vegetables if you wanna make a face on yours. So first you're going to roll your sleeves if you have sleeves and, and soak your hands in salted water. Why? It will help you not have the rice stick to your hands. I think we need to Thank put you. the rice into a bowl. Then we put our thumb in the middle, as much mm -hmm. tuna as you'd like. I think that I would like tofu in the middle. Cover it, a little more rice and then we put vegetables on it. What's your favorite um, topping? I really like the chives, or whatever the chives. things are. <laughs> this looks pretty good. Like ah! Them. Look at every little eyebrows. Let's eat them. One, two, three. Mm. 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 That's good. Everybody, high five. <laughs> high five. Sorry, Ricey, high rice five. Rice <laughs> Woolly mammoth was an ancient relative to modern elephants. It was covered with coarse hair and had tusks that were up to 16 feet long. Woolly mammoth fossils have been found across Europe, Asia, and North America. Mammoth drawings made by ancient humans in caves were some of the world's earliest art pieces. When the pyramids of Egypt were being built 4,000 years ago, Paintings of mammoths were created, meaning there may still have been mammoths alive on Earth. In Russia, an 11-year-old boy found a 30,000-year-old mammoth that was preserved in the snow. It still had skin and hair that scientists were able to study. Pretty cool, huh? Can you figure out who I am? My uniform is tight and often shiny. You can learn my skill starting at a very young age, sometimes as young as toddlers. 
My job requires that I be very flexible and also very strong. My sport takes place at the Summer Olympics. There are all kinds of different types of what I do, including floor exercises, steady rings, vault, and bounce beam. Who am I? A gymnast. 